it's always a surprise because as an athlete, you just you don't think of stuff like this. And to know that people like Clive Charles are in the, already been inducted, Casey Keller, you know, the panel that's inducted tonight, all their accomplishments to be classed with them is truly humbling and a great, great honor. Without a doubt, my decision to attend the University of Portland and play for Clive Charles set me up to succeed, not only on the field, as you guys saw, but also off the field as a person and in life in general. And it's the best decision ever made. And what Clive, assistant coach at the time, Garrett, the athletic department, the university, what they instilled in me and helped me learn and draw out of myself were things that I, were beyond what I thought were possible. And without a doubt, I would not have had the success that I was able to have without that watching her play here, she cared about our team's success. If she had to put us on her shoulders and take over a game, she would do that. If she had to be the facilitator for somebody else, she would do that. She cared about the starting 11 all the way down to somebody who maybe never even got on the field. Just her passion and, and how much she cared about everybody and everything that she was involved in is, uh, I think, what sets her apart from everybody else. It's very important and I think for me the fact that I came from Portland and the life lessons that I was able to learn and extract during my time there playing for Clive helped me to have the career I had from the many ups and downs, being a starter, being cut, coming off the bench and all of that. So to look back now and see the success that Portland's had as well as the success of the women's team, it, it's very flattering and humbling. I just had actually a barbecue over at Julie Foudy's house with her and Joy and just kind of talking about, you know, watching our kids grow up now and giving back to the game that was so tremendous to us. Clive just had the most unique ability to pull out something special out of each player individually as well as us as a collective group and it's something that now as a coach I aspire to do. I think one of the big ones was take care of the little things whether it was polishing your cleats in the locker room before you went out before a game um, you know being the first one off the airplane and grabbing a bag and pitching in and the, the little details as well as always believing in yourself and taking care and enjoying the moment because it's so beyond us and he knew how to get the most out of each person individually and then as well as a collective unit. I think the big thing is not just in coaching. I'm a mom now and the way I'm raising my son and how I want him to be empowered to my relationships, my friendships, everything. There's, that's the beauty of the game. There's so much if you do it the right way and you're in it for the right reasons, you're going to set up to succeed off the field as well as on. And that's, that's something powerful and something I hope to pass on to all the kids I coach because I know the impact that Clive Charles had on me if I can have one-tenth of that impact on some of these kids I work with, I know I've done a good thing in this life.